This is God's house, and He is here today. He hears each song we sing and listens while we pray. This is God's house, and He is here today. He hears each song we sing and listens while we pray. This is God's house, and He is here today. He hears each song we sing and listens while we pray. This is God's house, and He is here today. He hears each song we sing and listens while we pray. Hi, everybody. It's Miss Beth coming to you from Faith Lutheran Church here in Saginaw, Michigan. Pastor John and I are so glad that you are joining us for this week's Growing in Grace. As you can tell, I'm not inside the church this week. I'm outside the church. I thought I'd come out here and sit by all the beautiful flowers that are in our garden. Because what we're going to talk about today has to do with seeds and trees and bushes and plants and growing. I hmm. wonder what Jesus has to say about all that. Stay tuned and you'll find out. So glad to have you with us for Growing in Grace. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's Bible Story Time during Growing in Grace. This week, not one, but two little stories that Jesus told. He called them parables. They are stories about things that people understand really well, like the way that a seed can grow into a plant to help people understand things they don't know so well, like how one person, like Jesus, can change the whole world. So I've got a short video that shows these two parables. And uh, by the way, I really love the Australian accent on the guy who narrates that. So here they are. Again, Jesus said, God's kingdom is like what happens when a farmer scatters seed in a field. The farmer sleeps at night and is up and around during the day. Yet the seeds keep sprouting and growing, and he doesn't understand how. It is the ground that makes the seeds sprout and grow into plants that produce grain. Then, when the harvest season comes and the grain is ripe, the farmer cuts it with a sickle. Finally, Jesus said, what is God's kingdom like? What story can I use to explain it? It is like what happens when a mustard seed is planted in the ground. It is the smallest seed in all the world. But once it is planted, it grows larger than any garden plant. It even puts out branches that are big enough for birds to nest in its shade. Jesus used many other stories when he spoke to the people and he taught them as much as they could understand. He didn't tell them anything without using stories. But when he was alone with his disciples, he explained everything to them. So today we got to hear one of Jesus's parables. There's another big word for us, right? Parable, can you say that with me? Parable. A parable is just a story that teaches us something. It's one of the easiest words to remember from the Bible because Jesus uses them a lot. And it's also a way we still learn today is by hearing stories and, and finding out things. So Jesus was explaining to them a little bit about how God's love works and how God's love works in us. And he used the idea of a seed, which Pastor John is gonna to talk to you more about in just a minute. But I wanna show you something. I don't know if you remember um, a few weeks ago back at Easter, I showed you those beautiful Easter flowers and I said they all started off like a bulb, a bulb that goes in the ground. This is just basically a kind of seed that goes in the ground. And uh, it's just a big one because this is how the flowers that come out of them come. You see seeds all over the place. You might see those maple seed helicopters or if you have some of this fuzzy stuff around, those are seeds. That's how plants and trees grow and, you know, start new life and things. So. Um, I did not plant this bulb. It didn't go into the ground. So it's really not, there's no flower. It's just this bulb. Look, it's all dried up and bleh. did not turn into a flower. It's supposed to, if I put it in the ground and took care of it, it would have turned into a flower that looks like that. But I didn't. Now this one tried to grow a little bit. 
maybe to remind me to put, them in, put it in the ground. And it's not quite as dried out and yucky, but it still does not look like this. So here's the dealio. God wants us to take care of our faith and make sure we water it and we make sure it gets sunlight so it can grow and it doesn't just dry up like this. Ooh. And when I say when we take care of our faith, I mean we need to take care of how we talk to God and how we love God. If we don't ever think about God, it doesn't mean God stops thinking about us or loving us, but it means that we're not growing much. It's just we're just dried up and we're not getting uh, anything that helps us grow. But if we talk to God, if we pray, if we watch Growing in Grace, if we come to church when we can, and if we just have God be in our lives and be thankful to God, oh my goodness, we find what a difference. We don't have this dried up, fallen apart husk. We don't even have this, which might happen if you just do one of those. We would have beautiful flowers, like our beautiful geraniums that we have right over here um, that we planted and are growing so beautifully. So that's what Jesus is talking about in this. He doesn't really want us to all be gardeners and go out and plant seeds. He wants us to keep growing and keep growing in our faith. Keep growing in grace, right? Aha. And now back to Pastor John. I really enjoyed what Jesus had to say about seeds, about planting seeds, and especially about mustard seeds. And guess what? I've got a jar of mustard seeds here that Miss Beth let me borrow. And you know what? There must be a bazillion of them in here. And just like Jesus said, they are so tiny. You can't even hardly see it probably. I'm gonna hold it as close as I can. Really, really tiny, really, really tiny. So I decided that I would do something with them. I got a plastic cup. I got me some dirt. Let me get the dirt into the cup. Try not to make too big of a mess. That's probably, let's get that out there. A little bit more. I will take one of these mustard seeds. There it is. You can see it. Put it in there. And water it. And now, watch it grow. seed that grew into a sunflower at the start of this video turns out it took weeks for it to grow all the way into a sunflower so i guess i'm gonna have to just be really patient to let this seed grow right and that i think is one of the lessons that jesus is teaching us with these two stories about seeds when jesus talks about planting seeds you know what i think of i think of faith and trust and believing in Jesus. The first story Jesus told, that farmer was amazed that when he put the seed in the ground, it just grew. And that reminds me that my ability to believe in Jesus, to trust Jesus, that's a gift from God. That is a gift that God gives me. It's like God has put a seed inside of me, and that's called my faith. And 
it grows. It grows sometimes in amazing ways. And the second story is about that little seed of faith, and it takes time to grow. It takes care and and time. And I bet, like, when you meet somebody at school who's brand new, do you tell them all of your secrets the very first time you meet them? Probably not. Over time, you get to know if this person is worth trusting and will keep your secrets or whatever you want to tell them and will become a good friend. You learn how to trust that person over time. I think it's the same with our trust in Jesus. God plants that seed in our hearts, but it takes time to learn who Jesus is. We learn from moms and dads. We learn from pastors and teachers like Miss Beth. And over time, our trust in Jesus, our faith in Jesus, our belief in Jesus grows stronger and stronger and stronger. So maybe today, take a walk outside and say hi to a flower or a tree or a bush. And when you're looking at it, remember how long it took to grow. And so will your faith. Those two stories of Jesus give me some ideas for today's signs. Um, the first sign we'll do is one we did already. It's grow. Like your hand is like the dirt and up comes the plant. Grow. And you put that together, this with this. And that's a sign for seeds. The thing that grows has to be planted. And you're scattering the seeds when you do this. So seeds make things grow okay and then the mustard seed was what small small that one's pretty easy could you just bring your hands together to make something small if it's small or if it's really small and then of course large would be the same thing sometimes people use the l letter l handshake and do large but if you make it big if it was if it was small and it's a little bigger, but if it's small and it's really big, where'd my hands go? And um, we also did faith. Touch your head and then hold on like you're holding on to a rope that somebody's using to rescue you. Okay. Faith and trust. There we are. So Jesus plants a seed of trust in our hearts and it grows large all right everybody it's time for our song and this week we're going to sing a song that's a great song to sing when you are feeling thankful to god and it's particularly for when you feel thankful to god for the food you're about to eat Ooh, do you say thank you to god before you eat your meal some of you do and some of you don't and that's just fine. But when you want to do it, sometimes you can say it, but sometimes you can sing it. So this one right here is a song called Johnny Appleseed Grace. Jo Johnny Appleseed, I don't remember him from the Bible. Well, he's not in the Bible, but it's still a great story. And it has to do with apple trees and seeds getting planted. So check with your moms and dads, see if they can tell you about Johnny Appleseed. In the meantime, we're going to sing our song. Are you ready to learn it with me? Fantastic! Let's worship God with our voices. Here we go. Oh, the Lord's been good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need. The sun and the rain and the apple seed, the Lord's been good to me. Amen, 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 amen. And that's it. Let's do it one more time now that you got it in your, in your head. Here we go. Oh, been good to me and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need the sun and the rain and the apple seed the Lord's been good to me amen 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 wonderful job amen so thanks for being here today and it was great fun to meet some of you in person for the first time last Sunday at worship outside Remember that for the rest of the month of June, at least, we'll be out in the pavilion at 12 o'clock noon on Sundays. Bring a chair, maybe an umbrella or a hat if it's sunny and hot, 
You can also stay in your cars and we'll let you know soon if any of our plans change for when we get together for worship. So before we say goodbye, of course, repeat after me and we'll say our prayer together. Dear God, dear God thank you for your love and for the gift of faith. Help my faith to grow and help me share my faith with others. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right, well, thanks again for being together with us on Growing in Grace. We'll see you next time, so take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.